we serve an able God. Psalm 34, 15, uh, verse 22, The Lord redeemeth the soul of his servants, and none of them that trust in him shall be desolate. You can expect divine deliverance. God is our shepherd, and he provides for our various needs. Bring in the world, but not of it. Once we are in the world, but not of it, the child of God is faced daily with the sinful nature of mankind. Also, our decisions, though intended for good, may place us in stressful circumstances from which we need to be delivered. But God's intervention may take several forms, ranging from strength to endure to total elevation from the problem. Don't look at the type of frequency of your afflictions. Look at God's ability to deliver. He has the power to overcome your problems, whatever they may be. And it is absolutely essential that we believe this, because being God's people does not provide immunity against troubles. On the contrary, following the call of Christ may bring about, increase or vary, the obstacles we face. But we have the assurance that God will not let us be destroyed. God delivers with a completeness that will overwhelm you. Look to the Lord daily to be delivered. The deliverance that is assured, certain, complete, and inevitable. Wait on the Lord for your total deliverance and be blessed. Wait, I say on the Lord, for God is able. Father, thank you because you're an able God. You are there for us in the thick and the thin, in the highs and the lows, in the valleys and on the mountains. You are there with us because you are able. Bless your children everywhere we pray. Amen. Here's my thought for today. The man of God who believes the promises of God expects to see them fulfilled. That is from A.W. Towson. Have a good day.